Hello and welcome to my channel. Happy New Year to all of my followers and a massive thank you for your support. This year I would like to start with something different and I prepared this video of basic decoupage rules for you. I hope you can find it useful. As usual, napkins, rice papers and other decoupage supplies can be purchased in my small online shop. The link will be available under this video and you can see it on the screen. So the first question is, how do I start? If we are decorating different objects, we will start our work differently. Wooden items don't need much preparation if they are brand new. But if we are upcycling, we might need to fill holes with wooden filler and remove wording, stickers or ropes. Once the filler is dry, we must sand it down to even the surface. Metal items will need to be cleaned with soap and water and then wiped with white spirit to remove grease. Glass items, similar as metal, must be cleaned and wiped with white spirit. Styrofoam and plastic items will need sanding down to even and mat the surface, so the paint can stick to it easily. Ceramics will need sanding down as well. The next step is priming the surface of the decorated item. So we apply acrylic primer on slippery surfaces such as metal and glass using either sponge or brush. Sponge will give us better coverage while brush will reach all the corners. If the surface is white, we still should prime it one way or another. Wood can be painted with either primer or acrylic paint. I know some people use emulsion paint instead of acrylics, but I don't recommend it as this paint is designed strictly for walls. If our plan is to do shabby chic finish, we need to apply two separate layers of paint, one on top of another, and then we remove some paint by, it, by either sanding or scratching to create a distressed look. At this point we should have a plan which color goes on top and if it's light enough to glue thin napkin on top. Sometimes we use wood stain, but we must remember that we cannot glue on dark surfaces, so planning ahead is crucial. When everything is dry, we can start working with images. Paper napkins would be the cheapest option, but they are very thin and fragile and need to be glued on either white or very light background. Firstly, we separate top colored layer from bottom layers, then we use a small brush and water to cut images out. Smaller images tend to wrinkle less than the large ones. Another option would be rice paper, which is also very thin, but much stronger than napkins. I use fingers to tear the images out as fluffy torn edges blend much better than cut edges.
third option would be classic paper, which is much stronger than the other two and doesn't wrinkle at all, but it is much thicker and needs more varnish later on. If you are printing images yourself, you must remember to use a laser printer instead of inkjet. Images printed with an inkjet printer will smudge when you start applying glue. Napkins can be glued either with decoupage glue or varnish. The second method I discovered recently and I'm very pleased that the paper doesn't wrinkle as much when using varnish. There are two methods which we can use when gluing napkins. First one is the iron method which can be used with wood and when surface is completely flat. You shouldn't have any wrinkles with this method. First, I apply generous layer of decoupage glue on my box and let it dry. Then, I cover it with baking paper and I use iron to stick the napkin. The iron needs to be set on medium heat and no steam. Once cooled down, I apply another layer of glue on top. The second method would be applying glue or varnish on top of the napkin, smoothing it from the middle towards the edges. Rice paper must be glued on either white or very light background as it's very thin and dark background will show through it. You must apply a layer of decoupage glue on the decorated item first, then position your paper in the middle and smooth it out from the center by applying another layer of glue on the top. Classic paper must be soaked in the water before gluing and dried up with kitchen towels or it will roll up. Also, it can, it can be glued on dark surfaces. First, we apply a layer of glue on the decorated item, in, in my case wooden box, and then we position the paper in the middle. We can use a sheet of plastic to smooth it starting from the center, working towards edges and then we apply another layer of glue on top. Any decoupage glue or PPA glue will work, work perfectly. If you are starting your decoupage journey and wondering what supplies you need, this would be my basic list brushes or sponges, white paint, decoupage glue and varnish would be just enough. Thank you for watching and please let me know if you like this video. Perhaps I can make more tutorials like this covering different aspects of decorating such as crackles or gilding.